BlackRock, the most powerful asset manager in the world with a $10 trillion portfolio is investing in cryptocurrency. This is not gonna be an easy task. Capital is moving and it's gonna move very rapidly. Not XRP, not BNB, not Solana, but specific altcoins that align with their vision for the future. Don't take my word for it. Listen to CEO Larry Fink himself say this. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. Like I said, BlackRock isn't interested in just any cryptocurrency. BlackRock is interested in specific cryptocurrencies that align with their vision for the future. It's interesting that while BlackRock is investing, Larry Fink's friends continue to sow fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the minds of the general public. You've seen this. Hillary Clinton cautions that Bitcoin could potentially undermine the role of the US dollar and destabilize the country. And she's been saying stuff like this for a couple years now. And then one more area that I hope nation states start paying greater attention to is the rise of cryptocurrency. Because what looks like a, a very interesting and, and somewhat exotic effort to literally mine new coins in order to trade with them has the potential for undermining currencies, for undermining the role of the dollar as the reserve currency, for destabilizing nations, perhaps starting with small ones, but going much larger. And by the way, Larry Fink and BlackRock used to FUD crypto just as hard as Hillary Clinton still does. Listen to him in this unearthed interview from 2018. This year was a great time to buy. Larry Fink went on TV and convinced you not to. Is it true that you're building out a cryptocurrency capability? Uh... No, I mean, we're looking at it. We're looking at blockchain technologies and we're looking at all the but crypto blockchain is in crypto. Blockchain is just the underlying technology. Well, don't your clients want crypto exposure? No, I don't believe any client has sought out crypto exposure. Really? Yes. But at some point they might. Do you need to be prepared? I, I don't at the moment. No, it's I have not heard from any one client they're looking to and to uh, uh, to buy a cryptocurrency at this time. But right now, I can tell you it worldwide, I have not heard from one client who said, I need to be in this. Do not be fooled. Don't let Larry Fink's friends go on TV and convince you not to buy this time around. While Hillary and friends continue to sow fear, uncertainty, and doubt about crypto into the minds of the general public, BlackRock has been forced to disclose that they're into it. So what altcoins does BlackRock like? What altcoins fit into Larry Fink's vision for the future? To answer that, let's understand what they don't like. What altcoins does Larry Fink think will fail? Larry Fink believes that altcoins that fall into this trap will fail hard. Oh, I actually believe most of the companies are not going to be around. I still believe that. I do believe because that. They're, because they're now real, they're frauds, they're what? Well, I mean, think about FTX. I mean, you can look back now. FTX created it. Its failure was it's creating its own token. It was not a DeFi. It wasn't a, it wasn't a you know, a, a ledger that was open to the world. It was a closed ledger. Right. It was not distributed. So the whole foundation of what crypto is, it's supposed to be a distributed ledger that is across the system. Closed, permissioned, centralized, cryptos will fail, according to CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink. Many of these cryptos are decentralized in name only. BlackRock says they will fail. Is the altcoin that you like either decentralized enough or connected enough to survive? Larry Fink says open, permissionless, decentralized altcoins will be revolutionary like investing through ETFs was revolutionary. I actually believe this technology is gonna be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it 
for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. I mean, the transformation, think about it, instantaneous settlement, right. bonds and stock, no middlemen, we're going to bring down fees even more dramatically. Um, as for me, I don't have to vote on any shares anymore because the beneficial owner will do all the voting. By the way, make sure you subscribe to our channel, daily videos just like this, keeping you informed on the entire cryptocurrency market. If you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency, subscribe to our channel, daily videos. And by the way, this isn't the first time he said this. Larry Fink has been getting more and more vocal on this. This is one of the reasons why I'm focusing on the whole idea of blockchain for securities. I look forward to the day when we could tokenize stocks and bonds that every stock and every bond we could identify immediately who is the beneficial owner, and this is why we're working on it, and every beneficial owner from an individual to an institution have the ability to vote, to democratize every single vote. And that's where we want to take this, and, and we're leading that effort. Get your tickets to Bitcoin 2023 Miami, May 18th through 20th, Miami Beach this year. Use code ALTCOINDAILY, 10% off. This is the biggest Bitcoin conference of the year. Ticket prices continue to increase as we get closer to the event. Use code ALTCOINDAILY, 10% off. Get your tickets now. So what cryptos is BlackRock investing in? Well, they're bullish on open, permissionless, decentralized DeFi type protocols. Protocols that upend traditional finance. So gaming coins probably out. Meme coins probably out. Actually, many of these coins on Coin Market Cap probably out. We know that they're investing in Bitcoin. We know they're investing in Bitcoin. I think it's pretty safe to assume they've invested or are going to invest into Ethereum. I mean, I would say that we know that they're going to invest in Ethereum. It is a top DeFi L1, has the most market share to tokenize the financial system. But what else? What other altcoins would BlackRock think meets their vision? We know that they have a partnership with Coinbase, so probably coins that are able to be offered on Coinbase. Hmm, open, permissionless DeFi. I think Cardano, Algorand, Cosmos, Aave, Uniswap. That's what I think. What do you think?